Thrill Gang, we are joined by the pumpkin spice frate, Lauren Schlossman, and myself, the host of Throwing Knits, James Harris. Welcome to the weekly running of the boys, which today's full episode only available on patreon.com slash throwing fits. New camera angle. Hopefully you look less uh, job of the hut in the neck. Um, which is why I'm wearing this beautiful car in it, but we'll get to the fit check. Yeah. Before we get into Birkin stonks, <laughs> eating every single part of the chicken, and I do mean every single part, <laughs> and firefighters saving the life of a passed out girl <laughs> in front of Lawrence's drunken eyes. Let's get into some housekeeping. Yeah. Um, throwing, <laughs> throwing fits for Mr. Porter is live. It has been live, and shit is moving. So if you want to tap into 10... Of the best collabs this year, you better fucking hit that banner image of the boys looking saucy. Yeah, it's, I mean, go to Mr. Porter. It, we're front and center, as we should be. Mm -hmm. Um, As we should be, 365, <laughs> not just when we put out a fucking 10-way, I guess 11-way, an 11-some. Because we're, we're the, the goddamn orgy with the brands. We're the 11th brand because our merch. Right, but also we are the collaborator. Yeah. Um, Imagine is, in our contract, we like... <laughs> It was worked in where we had to be a banner image for 365 consecutive days. <laughs> I am Mr. Porter. I'm not even that vain. Mr. Porter. I'm not wearing top hats. <laughs> um, all right. We collabed with Karu Research, Captain Sunshine, Small Talk, and in 07. And after that, second layer, 4S Designs, Metalwood Studios, Ostria, DMA, only available on Mr. Porter. So it's 10 three-way collabs, technically. And then also our merch is there. Too. Mr. Porter is the vessel through which you can cop. I would say they're kind of, they're a two-way collab. They're the oyster for the cocktail sauce and or horseradish and or mignonette that uh, you choose to, however you choose to dress them. Oh, we're going to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, shit is live. And it, it people have been reacting very nicely. Yeah, thank you, Some guys. stuff, some sizing is already sold out. Uh, more stuff is going live soon. Not the entire collection yeah. of collaborations isn't available just yet. But we got the fucking, we got uh, the Lil Porters in the back, <laughs> unwrapping, photographing it, getting up on site, writing up the copy. Lil Porter is their children's site. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lil P. Nana Porte, Mr. Porter, and then Lil Porter. Yeah. <laughs> Porter Jr. Yeah. Um, the kids can call you Poor Jew. That's a Simpsons joke, not an anti-Semitic thing. Thanks uh, for clarifying. <laughs> <laughs> we covered that last week, Jim. True. We did. The geopolitics. You can't say that we didn't. The geo <laughs> Welcome to the geopolitical throwing fits corner featuring Larry Schlossman. Yeah, baby. Um, yeah, shit is live. It's moving. It's moving. Um, really happy to see it go live yeah. with uh, yo, shout out Avery Truffman, Aaron Levine, Jordan Page, um, uh, Alex Harmon, aka Nobody Dirtbag, for mm -hmm. honestly making the clothes look fun. Yeah, the shoe was good. great. Man. We talked a little bit about, you know, pulling up to the Chelsea Hotel and and taking over. Um, I love the the picks are awesome. We look great. Yeah. Everyone looks fantastic. Yeah. Especially when um they're super horizontal, so you can't <laughs> see so, so small. So we look small. We look like so a small. like like a little paw. Yeah, a little paw. <laughs> yeah. You can barely see my monocle. More more picks coming where we are taking up more of the frame. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> more picks, more pieces. <laughs> more picks, more Johns, more pieces. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was a good time. So that's live. And yo, shout out to everyone that's like reached out and said really nice things. Yeah, thank you guys. The response it's has been awesome, dude. It's always a little like, I don't know what your coping mechanism is. You get nervous. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> I get, yeah. Uh, I get a little like, ah, psh, whatever. Fucking blase be, bimmy over here. You become nonchalant. I get a little blase, but ah, psh, yeah, whatever. Like, who cares? I'm or like, is it like it's in God's hands now? Kind of, yeah. It's like, yo, it's, we can't control it, right? I mean, mm -hmm. and that's just, you know, that's just like my, my like nihilistic. I but, get it. And yet Zen at the same time. Yeah, I think that's a normal reaction that yeah. a, an adult would have. To, Zen Zimmy. To stressful um, moments. Who got the keys to the Babimi. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and then it, when people, when like people you actually know and care about and like respect and they come out oh, the woodwork sure. and they're just like, yo, you guys killed it. Like that's always really good to hear. And also just, you know, from like anybody really just uh, who loves it. So, but hey, you know what? Positive words, reinforcement. Don't put fucking chicken on the table. <laughs> so make sure you buy that shit too. <laughs> Noah Johnson. <laughs> Is he asking for free shit? Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. He likes that Captain Sunshine buttery brown wool flannel suit. I know that. Yeah, but he's got he to might get... have been trying that on me too, but like I didn't get we didn't get to that point. He's got to get one sleeve lopped off because he just had the <laughs> fucking, right. you know, his yeah. shoulder slice. You could wear it over the shoulder style, which always looks fucking fancy. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's our housekeeping. Just, you know, yeah. thank you. And yeah, thanks again for all the kind words. Like we're we've been super stoked. This has taken a long time. We wanted to do it differently than round one. All new brands, 
all new merch. Uh, there is some more stuff, like James said, that's rolling out this week. But we'll alert everyone when uh, some new stuff a comes shout. in. And uh, yeah, appreciate all the kind words, guys. Thank you. Couldn't do it without you. Special. All right. Uh, for check time? Yeah. You want to start? I'll start. Cool. Upstairs. I was wearing. Fuck. Where are they? Oh. Oh, yeah. Dude. Them. DMA for throwing fits. We got DMA in the fucking heel cup. If you're on uh, YouTube, you can zoom in. I think. I don't know how the user interface exactly works. Um, <laughs> You've never used YouTube before. What are these? The grappas? What are, like, what is the style name? I, I forget. I can't, so there's, I can't keep track. There's, there's so many. Beefy ass motherfuckers. There's the these are the the rock are these the rocka rocka roca the roca roca I don't know roca lo we just made so much collaborative product I can't even fucking keep track no. what is this a t-shirt like I don't know um <laughs> the blue colorway though kind of a sleeper ballistic nylon we were adamant that it had to be ballistic up top we went ballistic on the upper you know we go ballistic <laughs> on these hoes we go ballistic on the uppers <laughs> um with the fucking <laughs> rubber wrap, you know, keep it wrapped it just, up. It just clicked. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> keep it wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And you know what? Wrap it up. Wrap it up twice, like I did with these fucking shoes here. Yeah. Um. I like these. Unlike the suede models of the lows, which we'll get into, you get the suede and the ballistic nylon, so you get like right. a lot of material. Yeah. The buttery ankle yeah. collar. Those are sick. Um, and I like the blue because it's like it's this like midnight kind of like slate blue. Yeah, baby. Uh, it's not too bright. It blends in over those. I had, well, I had on the Nike drifties cause we didn't do socks this time. No, we didn't do socks last time either. And a, where you at Nick, where you at? Let's revive that brand. Um, then I got the NN speaking of NA and then Oh seven fucking khaki. These are mad comfortable. Yeah. These pleated boys. I wore those in the, the shoot. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if you wore this. I don't know. Are they, the, they smell like cigs. Are they, you wore these. these. You wore these. Do they do, I don't know if they do, do they do alpha or numeric sizing? These are 32 by 32. Oh, okay. Um, I don't think I had those on. I might have been to 34s. No, they smell like cigs and McDonald's. These were definitely you. Damn, you we're really these. wearing similar pants. I guess this idea of a stitch, which I really appreciate, a stitched in pleat crease mm. is so convenient because it it's really so, makes, e it's, so easy to iron. It cuts the ironing process in half. When I was ironing your clothes for you because you which, made me? No. <laughs> To be clear, I was like, oh, like, why don't you go in? First of all, I'm hanging out in my underwear in your living room, which also wouldn't be the first time. But <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, you do yours and then I'll go in and I'll iron. And then you just did mine first because you're such a sweetheart. Thank you. Yeah, because I didn't want you to touch my shit. Your iron? <laughs> no, my my office, my workspace, yeah, okay, dude. my second bedroom, which is just where a bunch of shit from throwing fits lives. Um, but speaking, I'm so excited to get all these samples in our crib. Yeah, bro. for real. All these boxes are so dirty. <laughs> like. <laughs> Through like all every single yeah. European port as like has, a, has touched this box as and a, now they touch my couch as a guy who won't even like my tote. And I know this because I got yelled at only one time and I learned my lesson is that like the tote that's been outside, the tote can't touch furniture. It has to go on the floor or be hanging off of a chair like it is right now. Yes. Because like so the fact that you have outside boxes many outside boxes just chilling right by the couch. I already know you are Bro, not pleased. I've sacrificed fucking years <laughs> of my life, relationships, fucking family uh, for this podcast. What's a little, you know, dirty area over there? Damn, you think the pods like destroyed personal relationships oh, for real? Absolutely. Oh, shit, me? dude. Yeah. We should talk Come about on, that dude. sometime. We'll be that's baking whole, mad bread. This whole podcast is, is an exercise in relationship destruction. What okay. are you talking about? Okay. All right. Yeah. It's on a podcast <laughs> or wife. And I chose <laughs> Larry. <laughs> I don't got I don't got wife. I got podcast. I watched Fast X over the weekend. Uh, was it good? Or last week. Yeah, I don't yeah, I'm, I've said rocked. it before. I'm not a fan. I don't know if I'll watch it. It was like it's so dumb. I right? had to turn on subtitles for Vin Diesel speaking English. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, oh, we'll finish that. We're going to finish that. Drive with us a little B. El Ludacris. El Ludacris. Bull bitch. He's not even. He's one of those guys that now. now I would think like TC is like this too. Like you're just not. You're not acting. You're just. The, you're just Vin Diesel or The Rock even. Like well, they're I not acting. I right? think his normal speaking voice is like, hey, what's up? I'm Vin Diesel. <laughs> and he has a full head of hair. It's a ball yeah. cap, actually. Have you ever seen his twin? His twin oh, is just right. a, re yeah, yeah, yeah. a regular <laughs> ass looking white guy. He's a Reggie ass Reggie. Uh, Vincent Petrol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vinny um, Pets. But yeah, the NN07 fucking slack Renos on the dick and balls. Mm -hmm. uh, underneath, I got this Austria. The Austria stuff is dropping soon. I th is there anything live right now? No, I think they're all they're all coming soon. I love this color combo. Yeah. You can't see it, but they got the 
the Oster Swirl goaded logo. Great logo. Um, and they did it in kind of like cheetah print because they were inspired by Simon and Felix were inspired by our last summer's um, or two summers ago, our cheetah print shorts that were in the Mr. Porter round one. That's collapse. right. And so they wanted to take that and incorporate it. And so they made like a cheetah logo. So it's kind of yeah. like a, a logo smashing um, together of amalgamation of logos which again, it's on the back. The pink is it. a short sleeve, and then there's a blue long sleeve as well. Um, yes. Both featured the cheetah print hit on the back. Both of them smacking. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and a really good quality tee. I have a bunch sure. of their logo yeah. tees, like the standard stuff. It's, it's a great like thin, tee. but it's not like your nipples aren't gonna like no, show, I, show up weird. You it's know? like I mean, I, I don't know if we're gonna get into like this whole like performance shit, and we've talked about this before, but like the best performance wear is like just like an all natural cotton tee that like yeah, maybe it's a little bit thinner, so you're not sweating your fucking dick and balls off. And this is an example of that. But what's what's scary about the thin cotton is like whether you got puffers or whether you got fucking little baby toe nippies. Oh, yeah. Nips on guys. Not a great look usually. Right. So like in terms of like uh, bing, bing, if you like, could choose, would you rather be always torqued or or puffed or up? never torqued? No, or pu- or oh. puffed up. I guess like as a puffy boy, I and I'm sorry to interrupt here, but this is the reason I asked it because I think about this all the time. If I could make a wish and be fully torqued six to midnight all the time i take it every time. is that your most shameful or not uh self-conscious so is that your most disgusting part of your body <laughs> i don't know i don't know about disgusting but um no as a puffy as a puffy nipple as a haver, as, as, a puffer. <laughs> as a as a puffer as a puffer as a new york puffer Yo, yeah. i got the big pink puffers <laughs> 